I just hope you're all prepared to have your freaking minds blown. Today is the day I print my identical twin. Something I never thought I would say. But here I am, talking to myself. Oh, that's as weird as it gets. Dude, I gotta show you this because it's so weird, you cannot picture it. But I'm in the kitchen right now and you would think like, you know, Simon, you, you don't have 3D printers everywhere. Right? Well, there was this guy, Tom, who dropped off whatever this is. It's a 3D printer able to print one meter tall objects. Like it's a straight up industrial 3D printer. So if you were wondering what I printed myself with, well, here you go. It was the Optimus P1. Very nice. As far as I'm concerned, that printer made this entire project possible, so for that it earns the utmost respect. But honestly, I thought the quality would be not great, but just look at them layers. Although, I'm not gonna lie, some parts looks less than optimal. Though, that has more to do with the 3D scanning, if anything. I'll be the one to say, it's weird. You're not supposed to see yourself in 3D. It's, it's just not normal. Maybe I could 3D print myself a girlfriend. Billion dollar idea. Uh, I got scanned at this meetup. Here's a short clip. Down south, straight up looks trash. There's a lot of breakups, no quality. The middle section is starting to look okay. Still some areas that looks less than optimal. Up north, absolute trash. Now nah, it's actually looking pretty good. What follows is a brief construction montage. This is uh, <laughs> what I look like. Dude, you're stiff. That's enough. I'm just gonna continue with the spackle, the sanding, the priming, preparing him to proceed to the next step. Yes, it's probably true. I'll be the first to say that I'm not the worst painter. 
But this guy though, is just out of my league. I could never finish, I could never transfer the beauty of Simon to this guy. Instead, my long-term neighbor Ronja, who does some beautiful work, is gonna finish this guy up, It's gonna get this painted, and we're gonna make a beautiful video of her painting this. So I'm really looking forward to the result. Let's roll the footage. I am gonna try to film this one with my camera on the phone, my iPhone, and then actually Simon is gonna come here and he's gonna help me set up a couple of GoPros and we will take, take, blah, 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 blah. In a face, it's so much more than just the, the, the first color that comes to mind, like pink or, or beige or all, like, yeah, whatever skin color you might have. Uh, it's usually a lot of blues and greens and grays and purples and like my hand, <laughs> a little bit tricky, but I, hopefully I will, I will make it work. So for the last couple of hours, I've been experiencing a lot of difficulties with actually making Simon's eyes look like they're watching the same direction. And it's bothering me because it's one of the most crucial details to actually make him look as realistic as possible. It's not normal. It's not good. Why does this guy low key look better than me? Look, I'm a broke ass YouTuber. I need to I need to make some money right now. And this sign is gonna provide for me for years to come. And so we're gonna write something like dollar. Actually make an S. Okay, I messed up. I messed up. There we go. A dollar if you looked twice. <laughs> Let's get some reactions. Han gör saker som ni... Ja, jag vet. Det är liksom, det är bara ingen. jag. Det är ingen <laughs> annan som gör det här. Nej. So here is a quick tutorial for anyone who would like to do the same. Get yourself 3D scanned and use a computer breaking software to split you up in multiple pieces. Then wait 200 hours for the preferably industrial 3D printer to print all the pieces. Glue them together, don't forget about the sanding, priming, more sanding and even more sanding on top of the original sanding. Then you're ready to ship yourself to a professional painter that you obviously know. Easy enough. 
Here are some answers of your questions I can imagine being in the comments. How much does he weigh? About 5 kilograms. Isn't Simon 2.0 a little taller than you are? Yes, yes he is. How long time did the 3D printing take? About 200 hours. And how long time did the painting take? About one week. Does he actually look realistic? Both yes and no. If you look close up, it looks like he has some makeup on. If you step back a few meters, it looks pretty darn good. Comment down below, which one of us looks better? The original Simon or Simon 2.0? Looking forward to getting trashed in the comments.